Hello everyone and welcome. I'm the IFC Architect and today I'm going through uh, the Blenderbim beginner tutorial for a floor plan. We're going to try to do this as quickly as possible. Hopefully we can get it down quick. Um, there's a few steps we're going to go through but we're just going to start with everything normally. Um, if you want to know how to install Blenderbim and other add-ons to Blender there are other videos on the channel that cover that so you can just check those on the channel but for now we're just going to start here. So like any good tutorial I'm just going to turn on my screencast keys so you can see what I'm doing. And so everything I'm doing is recorded here on the left-hand side. So we're going to select the what's in the scene with an A and press X, delete. We're going to delete the default cube. Then what we're going to do here is we're going to create a scene here. But first I'm going to just adjust this layout a little bit just so it's easier to see. So I'm just going to get rid of this timeline and move my outliner over here to the side and make sure that this is all properties. This is just more comfortable for this layout so that I can see the project file structure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an IFC project in the scene properties here. So IFC4, I'm gonna use metric, millimeters, and square and cube meters. Remember to add, to select your IFC4 demo library, which comes with the Blenderbim add-on. And then we're just gonna say create project. You see it loaded a file structure here. So it goes, project site building story. So you want to just be on the story that you are selecting. And then here are all of our types. We can just have a quick look at them. <clears throat> Doors, windows, bunnies, you know, all the essentials. And we can just hide it again and collapse that because we don't need it right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to tab the end panel and go to tool. And then we're going to select this BIM tool here in the corner. So here it lo loads that, uh, those types into an accessible browser. And we're going to select the wall type tool and we're going to select the 200 wall because that's similar to a masonry brick wall of 220. Um, in architecture, we typically orient plans towards north. And in Blender, when you tab 7 on your numpad, um, it orients Y here, the, the <laughs> green line, to north and X to east and west. So I'm just tabbing into plan view and then I'm going to add... A wall into this so with either with add this button here or shift a and then you see you added a wall and it's gone into the space so I want this to be an exact length um, so there's two ways we can do it we can use these squares in the background as a guide I want this to be 10 meters um, or much easier sometimes uh, depends on where we are uh, I can just type it in here since I'm using millimeters I want 10,000 millimeters and then I just hit refresh and it makes it the full length and then just make sure you have your snaps enabled here. So these are the ones I use. And then just make sure it's clicked here and enabled. And then we're going to snap our 3D cursor to the edge of the wall. And we're going to say Shift A again. So I know how big I want these things. So I'm just going to start typing it in. I want that to be 3000. I want the next one to be 1500 or 1 1.5 meters. Oh, control Z, my bad. <laughs> I need a Shift A <laughs> and then Shift R to rotate it. And then we make it 1.5 and then shift a and shift r to rotate it and i want this one to be four meters and then shift a shift r and then we just refresh that one so we can just zoom out a bit and then shift a i want this one to be five meters refresh that shift a i want this one to be six meters and then shift a oh it's the wrong way around so we're just going to say shift f to flip it and then we're going to snap to this length, this edge here, and we're going to say Shift E, and it'll adjust the length. And then we're going to say Shift A and Shift E. And there we have like a basic outline of the floor plan. Now we want to just change our wall size to 100 for internal walls. And then I'm just going to snap to the edges of the walls that I created earlier. And I'm just going to say Shift A, and I want this to be, let's say, 3,000 millimeters, which is 3 meters. And I'm just going to say shift A and refresh and shift A. And this one, I want to go all the way to the end there. And then I'm going to close these off by saying shift A. And then this is the wrong way around. So we just flip it, shift F and shift E, shift A, shift F, shift E. Okay, cool. We got a very basic floor plan here. And now we're just going to add some walls, uh, some doors and windows. So first off, we're just going to create our 
drawing. So we're going to come here down here to Blender BIM documentation. We're going to click this down arrow and we're going to create a plan, not at zero, which is orange, but at my story, which is that one meter standard high cut. So it cuts the windows and the doors. We click add drawing and here you can see a camera has been added. So to select this camera, we're just going to select it and we're going to activate it here with this button. And you can see it's pretty big. So we're going to go into object data properties, little camera icon, and we're going to make this roughly 15. And then it's slightly off center. So with the camera selected and you see it added a views tab here on the side, we're just going to say G for grab and we're going to move it into the center. Okay, cool. So that looks pretty good. And now this is cutting it at one to 1.2 meters high roughly. And then now we're going to continue with our, our doors and windows. So we're going to go here and we're going to select our door type. We're just going to use all the standard default ones that came in. I'm going to snap to this uh, center point and I'm going to say shift A after selecting the wall and then a door is created. I'm going to snap there. I'm going to say shift A. There's a door created. Shift A. And then here, shift A. So there we go. We got some doors. Oh, yes. And then this last one here, we're going to say shift A. And then we're just going to adjust this one, GX. This comes inside and we say shift G to regenerate its position. So there it, it auto snapped it. And then now we have a nice little floor plan where we can see we got doors over here and we're just going to add windows. So we're going to go to our asset browser here and we're going to select windows and we're going to make sure we have demo one. And now I'm just going to do a few windows, shift A, where I think they should go, shift A. And basically I'm just snapping to the center of each wall. I'm going to add another one here and just shift A. And the slide, we're just going to say shift A, shift A. Let's do it here, shift A, and over there, shift A. Okay, cool. So now we have our windows and doors, and they don't look like much, but it's similar to AutoCAD in that you have to print the end result. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back down to Blender BIM documentation. And here, this button is Activate View. And this one next to it is Create Drawing. So you can do it here or with the um, camera selected, you could say Create Drawing here. So we're just going to click that. And it created a nice little floor plan. Yeah. So you can see these windows here had are on the inside. And maybe we want them on the outside. So that's pretty straightforward. We're just going to go and scroll in. We're going to select the window. We're just going to say G along the Y axis and snap it to the end there. Is that inside? G, Y. Yep. And we're going to take this guy. I probably could have done both of them at the same time and snap it to the inside. And then I like to just click update representation every now and then to make sure that it's all updating. And then we click our create drawing button and you can see the windows have moved. It's as straightforward as that. Um, so I'm going to go back into the uh, model view, basically. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some furniture and some sanitary wear. Okay, and now we're getting on to the fun, easy part. Um, we're going to load our own IFC library with custom furnishings. And this you can find in a link below and download so you don't have to make it. Um, and spread the word. As many people who want it can have it. Um, so, well, to begin with, we actually just want to save our project. So I, you will click Save Project and then it'll bring up a tab. I've already saved this, so it would be similar to this. And you would just name it something. I've just named it Floor Plan. You put it somewhere and you say Export IFC. The key difference here is you're only saving the IFC, not the Blender file. So if you have something in the Blender file that you want to save, make sure it's classified as an IFC or just save the, the Blender file separately. Um, okay, cool. So what we want to do is we want to navigate to the custom library that you will download. So it's called plan furnishing set. Select library file and go into the type products. So we have building element types, furniture types, and sanitary terminal types. So we want the stove and the tree. We want the armchair, bed, couch chair, double couch, dining chair, also called a sofa. <laughs> 
uh, TV table and the other table. And then we also want the bath, double sink, prep bowl, shower, water closet, and wash hand basin. Okay, cool. So this is all going, has, has been loaded into our types now. So they're in there and we just access it the way we access the walls. We go to the tool, we click on the BIM tool and we go here and we're going to start with the sanitary terminals, sanitary wear stuff. So I think I want to do a shower here rather which is going to be here. I'm just gonna snap my 3D cursor and click add. And then if I wanna see how the shower actually looks when it's cut, I can just go into object properties and I can go to geometry. Let's close everything else and representations. And then we can just turn on the plan representation. So we can see where the drain is and I want that to be in the corner. So I'm just gonna rotate it minus 90. And then I'm just going to snap it to the corner. And then I want to add a toilet, a water closet. Same story. We can just click on the plan annotation. And I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees. And I'm just going to move it to the center. And then I also want a wash hand basin. Add 2D view, rotate 90, and just snap it to where you want it. Okay, so there we have our sanitary terminal stuff. Um, we also wanna just do the kitchen. So I'm going to put a nice double sink by this um, window here. We're just gonna activate 2D view. I'm gonna rotate it minus 90 and just put it underneath the window. And then we also want the stove, which is not a sanitary terminal, but, or sanitary wear type, but it is in the building element proxy type for now. So here we select stove and we say add 2D view just to see what it looks like. And I think that's a good location. Um, I think for the kitchen, we just want to draw in a little countertop. We're not going to model it per se. And we're going to go to the Benderbim documentation and we're going to say line. And it generates a little 2D drafting line that you can use. Um, and I'm going to just line it up with this edge and make some counters that are 600 deep. So 3, 150, and then we're just gonna EX to two, 300, so we can leave a space for a fridge. Maybe move it over, minus 200, and then shift DX, maybe draw a little fridge, 50, shift DX, 800 and then we're just gonna connect these with using the fill tool if if oh look at my screencast keys are not on basic mistake anyway alrighty and then we're just gonna take the same thing and we're gonna shift it down z y uh, we're just gonna say if and we're just gonna delete this guy x e and these guys we're just going to bring to the end. XV. Oh, control Z. Let's make sure we're selecting the right one. XV. Control Z. Okay. That's fine. Um, and then the next thing we want to add in some uh, beds. So we're going to go to the tool. We're going to go to our furniture type over here. We're going to go to our double bed. There it is, and we're going to say add. Again, plan annotation. I think we're gonna just start with this guy since he's in the right orientation. And then we're just gonna click here and say add again, rotate it, minus 90. And we're gonna snap it to the wall, so it's like that. And then we're just gonna move into the lounge and the dining area. So let's start with the dining table, still a furniture type. And we're just gonna do the long rectangular dining table. So we can activate the 2D plan innovation, rotate it mm. so that it is oriented correctly, maybe center it a little bit. And then we're gonna go to the center and we're gonna maybe add a couch or a, <laughs> a sofa. Um, uh, again, 2D annotation and just locate it. And maybe we do a, a chair, an armchair. Mm. 
Can we just rotate that so it's lined up nicely? And then we just add another armchair, I think. And we rotate that just so that we have a nice little lounge set up. And then I think we need a TV here. So we're just gonna go to our 55 inch and add that in. Look at our 2D view, rotate 90. And there it is, nicely centered. Okay, cool. Um, I think what's missing? Let's do the courtyard. Let's add some trees or mm -hmm. let's add our uh, round diameter table and just activate the 2D view. And then we have our outdoor table. And then we just want three trees in this environment. So we go to building element proxy type. We select the tree, we add it, planetation view. And then we can add another one there and another one here. So that's our courtyard. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we just want to add in some uh, built-in cupboards in these bedrooms. So we can just use the line tool. We select it, we tab into it. We select that, we can shift D and then just bring it along the edge and GY and then GX and we can grab that again because it's the same size shift DY shift D copies by the way uh, GY and then bring it in and then we have kind of like a finished floor plan um, we're just going to look at these doors to see what swing they have so I'm just going to select the 2D annotation here and then I'm not liking the direction of the swing so with the 2D annotation selected I'm going to tab into it and I'm going to uh, right click and I'm going to say mirror along the Y global. And then I'm just going to move it back into place. So you see that's changed all the doors because they're the same type. If they were different types, um, it would be changed differently. And then for this guy, I'm going to tab out. I'm just going to select him because I just want him to change. And I'm going to rotate him 180 because I want him to swing inside. And I'm going to snap him there. This is just the 2D representation. So it's... It's just this view of the wall, of the door. And there, those are looking good. And then all we have to do is go to our documentation tab and say, create drawing. And that's gonna be, it'll take a little bit of time the first time, but there we go. Um, that's a perfectly good floor plan for our little house. Um, and that's what it was beforehand. And that's what it is with all the furniture loaded. Thank you for watching. And please like and subscribe, share the word if you're interested. Um, have a look at the other videos and all of that. Uh, if you found that interesting or useful, you can check out more at the OSARC community page. This was made using Blender, the Blender BIM add-on, which is powered by the IFC OpenShell. And the community that we're involved in is the OSARC community. I will provide links in the description and you can check other videos to follow along. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.